hipster here coming at you with another contrast plus painting tutorial and today we are painting yet another of the leagues of Votan. Yes we are painting the Urani Serta Regulates. I hope I said that right. <laughs> this is a Hearthkin warrior found in the leagues of Votan army set sent to me early by Games Workshop to paint up and review for all of you and well massive thank you to them because we now get to jump right in and paint the next of our leagues of Votan. So it has been primed in grey sear and the place we're going to start is on all of the clothes and the colour we're going to be using for this is Gut Ripper Flesh. So we're just going to be picking out all of the trousers, all of the trousers. We're going to be painting his trousers and his shirt with the Gut Ripper Flesh. All of the trousers implies that there are multiple trousers, of which there aren't. There's one set of trousers. So with that gut ripper flesh applied, we're then gonna take some Dark Angels Green and we're gonna apply this over the top of the armor. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down wire flesh. I'm going to use this to essentially relayer all of our armor to get it to that right, really nice kind of mid army green, as it were. Now we're going to avoid the recesses where possible. And I've got it thinned down just a little bit more than I normally would, just so I make sure I've got a really nice smooth finish on it. And we're just going over the flats of the armor. like that. So with that done, what we're now going to do is move on and the colour we're going to be using next is Black Templar. Now we're going to be using this over the top of the knee pads, the boots and the elbow pads and the casing of the weapon. And this is because we want this to be a really nice dark grey, which is what Black Templar give us, which is why we're not doing any pre-shading, like you would typically see me do when using Black Templar. So 
So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some gore grunt of fur and we're going to use this to paint in pretty much all of the remaining leather details. So this is going to be these areas on the gloves that we haven't done. It's going to be the pouches and the belt as well. So with that done, I've accidentally lied to you, and in fact, there is another leather color, and that is Cygore Brown. We're gonna be using that on the belt and the pouches. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thins down Rune Lord brass and we're going to use this to paint in just a couple of details. Firstly, we're going to paint in the visor. Like that. We're also going to paint in the rounds in the weapon. And the carabiner. couple of remaining pipes. And with that done, we're then going to take some Iron Warriors. We're going to use this to paint in all of our remaining details. So with that done, all of our base coats are now on, so it is time to add some shades. And the first one we're gonna add is Bale Tan Green. I'm gonna be adding this over the top of all of the clothes. So with that bale tan green applied, we're then going to take some Nuln Oil. I'm going to use this to shade the black, the silver, and the Rune Lord brass as well. So we're just going to whack this all over the top. And with that done, we're then going to take some Blood Angels Red. We're going to use this to paint in any of our little computer screens and buttons. Over the top of the Rune Lord Brass. Like this. So with that done, our Urani Surta Regulates Halfkin Warrior is now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. However, you're not going to leave him there. No, 
we are going to take him to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. And the first one we're going to add is Strachan Green. I'm going to be using this to highlight all of his armor. So with that done, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some Ion Rack Skin. I'm going to use this to highlight the clothes. Like that. And we're also going to use this to add a little tiny spot highlight to the corners on the armour. So with that done, all of the armor and clothes are now finished. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of the warm brown. And the color we're going to be using for this is scrag brown. So with that scrag brown applied, we're then going to take some Gawthor brown. I'm going to use this to highlight our cold and darker leather details, such as the pouches and the belt. So with that done, it's now time to highlight all of the black details and the colour we're going to be using for this is Dawnstone. There's not really any science to it, we're just going to be picking out all of the edges. So with that done, we're then going to highlight all of our silver details using some iron hand steel. And with that done, we're then going to take some Rune Lord brass. I'm going to relay our brass areas, make them nice and shiny. And with that done, all that's left to do is to take a teeny tiny amount of Fire Dragon Bright. I'm going to use this to highlight our lenses by just drawing a little, little highlight in the top left corner. Just like that sort of thing. And so with the base done, our Urani Surta Regulates. I think I keep saying that wrong, but you know, I'm trying. <laughs> he is done, our Hearthkin Warrior, and he looks absolutely fantastic. I'm a really big fan of the dark green and the pale green. Like together, I wouldn't have thought it would work, but it really does. They've got such a militaristic feel to them, which is very much in keeping with their stubbornness of their character and the background which is very very cool but i just i think these might be my favorite really fun to paint as well if you enjoyed this video you love the channel and you want to support me further like these legends and bosses on the screen before you you can do so head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster or head to ko-fi.com forward slash warhipster
Alternatively, you can become a YouTube channel member by heading to the channel page and clicking on the join button just here, just like these awesome folks have done. And if you really loved this one and you just want to shoot me some support, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.